This was not a good idea. This was not a good idea. It's a new challenge. Yes, we're doing a new challenge and it's called 75 Day Hard. Damn, I don't even know how I'm going to go about this one. This one is going to be, it's definitely longer than the ones I've been doing in the past. It's 75 days. I did 30 days before, twice, so that's 60, but this one is just like a long stretch. So in five day hard and here are the rules. You have to follow a strict diet of your choice. You have to work out twice a day. You must complete two 45 minutes workouts. No alcohol. I don't drink alcohol, so that should be easy for me. Or no cheat meals. I don't really eat cheat meals like that, to be honest. Take a progress picture every day. Drink a gallon of water a day. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a big, my biggest problem. Read 10 pages of a book. Audio books do not count. I actually have two books I'm gonna start reading again or kind of, kind of reread them. Um, this is the other one. And if you miss a day, you have to start over from day one. Wow, that's hard. So, so the five days starts today. Um, I was gonna make my bed, try and be productive. Um, about to shower, go to the gym. Yeah, let's see how it goes. Yeah, please don't judge me for not having a tripod right now. My tripod broke and I ordered a new one. It's meant to come today. But I didn't, that, I didn't want that to stop me from filming. So I'm just gonna be shooting handheld till it gets here. Take progress pictures every day in front of the mirror. I'm gonna do that after this. Then we're gonna go to the gym, then we're gonna go read, then Find a way to do an outdoor workout. I don't know how I'm going to fit all this into a schedule, but you know, we learn as we go. And this is going to put bad structure into my life. I'm not going to lie. My life has been without structure since the last challenge. I've just been going to gym and, you know, winging it. But now I want to have like a structure. I want to have a proper schedule. I want to have something I'm going to do for 75 days straight. And this is going to be it. So, hope you guys, you know, enjoy there. Let's come along and let's come along with the challenge. Mm -hmm. It is hard as shit today, I'm not gonna lie. Today, what should we do today? I think I'm gonna start with Monday. What should we do on a Monday? On a Monday, should we do legs? Either we do push or do legs. Put in the comment section what you think I should do. Push or legs. I think I'm gonna do legs. <sighs> should we start Monday with legs? Legs today is crazy. All right, fuck it, we'll do legs today. Yeah, we'll do legs today, fuck it. Since it's 75 day hard, I'm gonna do the hard one, which is legs, so. Guess what? I ran only saw in the gym today. This niggas. I guys are working out. You just started? Just got here. Ah, perfect. <laughs> I just got here too. Guess what? We're about to do legs today. Yes, it's leg day. Yeah, so right on time. Today is day one of 75 day hard. Yeah, 75 day hard. 75 day hard. And hard? Am I spreading my back? No alcohol. No alcohol. Work out every day. Work out every day. No what? No breaks. No, no days off. No days off. Yeah, the, the regular. Seven days a week. PTSD. What are you doing? <laughs> we, we, Three minutes. We, we did legs last time. Yeah. Yeah. I'm scared. I can't. I'm tired. Let's go. Get up, Joe. <laughs> go, thirty. One. I'm too hungry for this. Nelson, I'm hungry. Why are you starting already? Yeah, so, same letter to that. The one that showed in the video where I said like my gym crush. Uh, uh, squats? <laughs> yeah. squats. We did a lot of shit. Have you guys stressed? Yeah. You didn't do 20. You did 20. Yeah, stop it. <laughs> she did 20 minus 10. Y'all be talking too much. Go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Huh? That's one leg, right? I feel just like I'm on nine. Yeah. You face twenty on one leg. Yeah. And do and that's for do. You face eleven. It's not easy as you say. It's not easy now. I got this. What am I doing? One more. <laughs> higher, higher. Yep. How do you feel? I feel good. Why do you do abs right now? Ah, oh, fucking hell, mate. I do. I literally just do like simple ab workout. I don't really. Overcomplicate my ab workouts. So I'll do something like start with this actually. Two, three, that's one. Day 
day 175 they had first workout of the day done it was a little od a little uh, a lot of od it was a lot of od it was a lot of od there's nothing that we can do period and we made it and we made it <laughs> but yeah day one was good This is day one of 75 day hard and i know i meant to buy the gallon i'm actually going to buy the gallon that um gallon of water but right now for today i'm going to use this bottle apparently i'm going to drink eight bottles of water a day let's start with this mm. i'm even testing man. let me go and read so i'm going to read 10 pages of a book then in the evening, I'll do my evening workout, and I think that should be for day one. I just drank three bottles of water, and I have five more to go. And I haven't even eaten today at all. I have to prioritize my, my protein. So I usually take um, isopure protein, this one. And I take creatine as well. So all I do is just mix it. I have this blender there. Um, two scoops of protein. Two scoops of protein and mix that with creatine. Take two scoops of creatine as well. And I like to add a little bit of ice. You guys should make your potion like a smoothie. So I bought this of uh, mixed berries. Add that, put it inside. Put it inside. Whatever you want to add to your smoothie, you can add. Um, for the sake of the video, I'm going to add this. I don't usually add this, but I'm going to add plain non-fat yogurt. You can get this as well if you have a sweet tooth and I'm gonna add a bit of that. Yes, like that. But fuck! Why? <sighs> this is crazy. This is crazy. Why me? Why always 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 me? Uh, all you gotta do right now is just blend this motherfucker. First meal today, this outdoor workout. I don't know if I should go and do it now. But yeah, I'm about to do this. I'm about to get some work done. I'm going to also try and be productive. You know, just be productive. Do like things around the house, um, things that help my business. Um, I have a production business, not some EGH. Um, I do take pictures as well. So just sort of help my business, probably make some TikToks, you know, try to be active, um, you know, all that shit. So yeah, I'm about to finish protein shake and get to work. I don't know if you can see me properly, but out here for all the workouts, just taking a quick walk down my street. Now you're too serious, I really don't actually walk at all. Or like even come outside to like receive fresh air or whatever, so this is kind of new to me. So yeah, we're out here for day one, I said five day hard. This is my walk outside, I'm walking down the hill right now. Coming back, this, coming back up this way is going to be crazy, I already feel it. What's up guys, this is day 2 of day 75. I went to the gym, today is pool day. Um, I'm just going to take you guys to some workouts. Not really to some workouts, I'm just going to do some workouts for you guys. And we're gonna go home, drink a gallon of water. It's long, it's long, but well, let's go. Uh, my first workout is going to be middle rolls with two drops, 20 sets each. And that was just the first set. I'm gonna do three sets of that. I don't know how I feel about it. Oh my god. So on the five day hard, oh Jesus. I wonder why I even put myself through all this stuff. Like, What's the angle? What's the purpose of, you know, doing everything I'm doing? What? Huh? Shit. Only God knows. I'm never gonna lie to you guys. My back feels amazing right now. That was the first set. Oh, God. This next workout to the T bar. Oh, we're going to be ascending in weight, so I'm going to do 15 of these. Then add another plate and do 15. I'm going to do 15. 
we're not gonna get to 15 or 8 for sure. So. Now about to do reverse grip lat pull down three sets of 20. Let's move some weights actually. So for this exercise, there was no audio, but basically what I did was I got up some heavy dumbbells, I did some partial side laterals at the bottom and immediately I did grab the lateral dumbbells and did like a full at the top, so 20 each set for 3 reps. The next workout is a preacher call, but I like to use it in an unconventional way by turning the other side. I just get more stretch out of the machine that way. And I surpassed that with an easy bar, just bicep core, I do 20 sets of each. So the next workout is going to be a dumbbell bicep curl. This one you want to tuck your elbows in, your body and curl up, do 20 reps of that, then do the opposite, tuck your elbows out, your body and do 20 reps of that, that's one set, so super sets outward and super sets inward, that's 20 sets. Make sure you have your elbows tucked to your body at all time and as always you're going to end with abs every day, we do abs every day here. Don't skip ab day, that is literally your core and it helps you with all your movements in the gym. Thank you. Hey, it's bam, bam, she wanna flip for the ground. Plus, her baby sobbing who I am, so she wanna do it all on care. Like, hold up, sobbing how to hold a pull up. Soon as we done, I'ma roll up. Full lines are better, I pull up. Papi te paga los billes, pero quiero todo lo tuyo. Prefieres hacerlo conmigo que siempre lo hacemos bien duro. I bought a Benz straight from the trap. I don't like paying no taxes. I don't need friends, solo na mami. Papi te enseño a rap. Yeah, so I just got back from the gym right now, so got that out of the way. Now I'm about to read 10 pages of this book. This challenge is going to be very hard. I can already feel it in my body. Like, and after drinking got a gallon of water, I did. That's the hardest part. So yeah, I'm about to read do something productive. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to day three of some five day hard. And today was hard because my problem was before finding like right time to do the outdoor workout so today i was like you know let me just jog down the street and then come back then go to gym but then i was jogging and i was like damn my gym is like roughly eight to ten minutes from my house by driving so why not just jog there right so i just kept going to jog to the gym i just kept on going and going and going kind of passing me by honestly i've been wanting to jog for a while now but i've not just had the i don't know motivation to jog but right now i jogged i rest obviously not like jog straight so I jogged there, it was like 15 minutes jog there. I walked out and I jogged back. And I'm not gonna lie, it's not bad, I actually feel good. And I feel like I've knocked out two of the things and decided five day hard already by already jogging, which is my outdoor workout and doing my workout. Now all I have to do is, the other part for me is I'm drinking a gallon of water a day and then I have to read 10 pages of this book. But yeah, that's it for day three. I do have a flight tomorrow. I pray it doesn't affect the challenge because I'm trying to stay on course. <sighs> I'm not even going to lie to you guys. This book Loki eats like I think I feel like I'm the kind of person that I'm driven by challenges. I'm about to go finish reading the 10 pages of this book. I read them out the workout, already worked out. I just thought while well, you know we're here and just show you guys what I do for my skincare routine. I either use one of these CeraVe or this. So today I'm gonna to go with CeraVe. 
I'm putting my water on like warmish, hot. Put a little bit on there. Oh yeah, I usually witch hazel turn off my face. And I do this every day. I usually go straight to my bed. I use World Game and Oxidol. This is a this is a if you want to go to bed, get this shit for me. The bed is my bed is growing now, so I just kinda just put the foam on like the parts that hasn't filled up and I end up just putting the foam everywhere on my face. <laughs> then I put it on my hairline a bit. It's those babas, you want to push my hairline back. Use my tea tree beard oil. And after that, we move to the castor oil. Just taking my hand. What's left now is just to brush and comb. I just don't know what my comb is. I have very, 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 very dry skin. I use this Vaseline Cocoa Radiant. It's the best I've used. That's the only thing I've used to be honest for my skin. Yeah, that's it. See you guys in the next one. You need to start promoting this soon. You need to start promoting this soon. Corruption vibes. I honestly do not know the kind of what I cook. This is egg. Sardine, mix, mixed vegetables, chicken, mostly protein, and bread, a little bit of bread. And I think that's what I'll eat mostly today, but that is my main meal for today. Welcome to day three. I actually forgot my camera because I actually drove to the gym to do this. The gym vlog may be quite wonky. Excuse me. Jogging back from the gym. Jesus. I'm so tired. Fuck. What the hell? I'm even halfway home. This was not a good idea. This was not a good idea. But I have to do it. Cause I already fucking jogged to the fucking gym. So I have to fucking jog back. Oh my god. <laughs> we are in there. We are in there. We are in there. We are in there. This is the end of the 75 day heart challenge. Sponsored by myself, brought to you by myself. Everything was by myself. And glory be to God, we are done with this challenge oh my god it was the longest 75 days of my life imagine walking out every day for 75 days how do you feel you think you will not come here and off your shirt and talk to the mic are you dumb what the fuck but anyways all things aside i stopped vlogging after day three because i just felt like the vlogging style was not kind of my style because i couldn't I, honestly i wouldn't be able to have kept up with it for 75 days and the idea i had before was to post week by week on so YouTube and Instagram, but I feel like I'll do a whole documentary at the end of it, shirtless, talking to the camera. So that's what I'm doing right now. So a couple of things. Why did I do this challenge? I felt like I just think there's something to put me back into a structure in life, right? I'm not going to say I wasn't disciplined. I've done challenges in the past. I did 30 days of fasting as a non-Muslim. I did um, a 30 day shred challenge twice actually. So this is like my fourth challenge I'm completing to be fair. So I always like having some kind of meaning or purpose in my life. That's why I always pick challenges to do because it kind of gives me like structure and it helps me like mentally. And it also helps me to push myself, you know, to be a better version of myself. And also I had the reason why I did China as well because my, my full-time job is content creation, okay? so I kind of have the time and uh, flexibility to control my work hours and to do this. So if you have a 9 to 5 and you can't do it, it's fine, don't you can bother yourself. It's, but if you still want to do it, trust me, it's an amazing challenge and this is what I learned from the challenge. This challenge made me value myself more. This challenge made me show up for myself more every day, knowing that, okay, yes, today, I'm going, I'm doing this, I have a list of things to do and I'm going to break down everything that um, this challenge entails into detail on how I was able to accomplish 
each of these objectives fairly well. You know, I did my best to accomplish most of them daily, actually. I would say the challenge is impossible. I would just say it was very uncomfortable. But nothing is always impossible. It's just uncomfortable until you do it. I am like, okay, yes, I can finally, you know, I'm, I'm doing something. So two 45 minute workouts every day, one indoor and one outdoor. But when I heard this of this thing, I was like, okay, I already work out, so that'd be cool. But outdoor workouts, Atlanta, you can never predict like when it's gonna rain, cause global warming, climate change, and all those stuff. But I just felt like doing two workouts a day, I started this challenge, I didn't even used to go on walks or runs or any outdoor activity. But right now, like I always look forward to running or walking outdoor, even if I always walk like a mile or three miles or four miles around, I it's just like, part of your life that's what challenge is about it makes things become a routine and a habit for you naturally so you can do it naturally so as for my fitness goals in the gym i didn't really have a fitness goal because beginning of this year i was chubby so i kind of had a transformation journey i'll definitely say i've gotten leaner i've definitely gotten more muscle mass because i was strict through my training if you train with me you know i always train very hard i always train to failure i say working out was not really a big as much deal for me so because i really enjoy working out as a people are like oh nelson are you going to stop working out after a challenge no i am not i'm going to continue working out i know myself probably almost every day as well so but i won't just count it as 75 day hard i'll just keep working out because now it's a lifestyle for me and imagine like working out to this time and you just will see you want to stop because challenge is over no i'm going to continue that shake i want to keep looking sexy all right Boom. The hardest one for me, I'm not gonna lie, drink a gallon of water a day. But this shit was so hard, like, that shit was so hard, man. The next rule was to follow a diet. Um, For me, I don't really have a diet because I really don't have any, like, fitness goal or to get bigger or get smaller. I kind of just want to maintain the way I look right now. So I was just eating clean. Most of my food was clean, like, at least 80 percent clean and 20 percent of like maybe like overly processed food but not junk food um no alcohol i don't drink alcohol anymore i quit drinking alcohol so the diet part was kind of easy as well sometimes i don't even like really eat that much as well uh but yeah the next rule was to take a progress picture every day but this was the easiest one for me <laughs> i'm not even gonna lie to you because naturally because like I said before, I just got this body, this new suit. I just really attained it, you know, this year. So I've kind of been admiring myself a little bit longer than I should because it's new to me. I don't know how to feel. Like, I'm, I, I feel more confident though, but taking pocket pictures every day was nothing to me. I have a lot of pictures on my phone, my whole gallery. Like, I've, I can make a whole album, <laughs> the pictures I've taken of myself. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just being self-obsessed with how I look because of the hard work I've put in the gym. So it's like hard work actually bears rewards. And this was what I want to talk about as well because it's like a virus. So once you've gotten your body right, which is something you can control, because everyone can control what they put in their mouth and it does go to the gym or not. Once you've got your mind right, then everything else is kind of easy and push you the back burner because now you have developed a discipline in one area of your life. Imagine what you can develop in other areas of your life, just being as disciplined, equally as disciplined in those areas. So I'll say definitely working on your body or building a nice physique or just going to a gym is life changing. I'm not going to lie to you, it's life changing because I wouldn't even be talking to you like this if I didn't endure that. And now I have a ultimate respect for people that are in shape because I know, th I know the amount of work they put into getting to that shape that they're in. So I'll say, if you want to learn how to be disciplined, how to have more structure in your life, work out. Like just, even if it's two times, three times a day, it helps you a lot. Trust me, work out is gonna change your life. It changed my life. Boom. Even if you want to work out for girls, bro, like if, you, if your goal to work out to have a six pack to attract more girls, it's a win-win. Cause at the end of the day, you're gonna look good and you're gonna attract more girls. But I would say don't have, don't work out for girls. Don't work out for anybody, work out for yourself. Work out for yourself when you look at me in the morning, like, damn, I look good and butt-ass naked. You know what I'm saying? Type shit. The last rule was to read a non-fiction book. This was by far the one I thought would be impossible for me because I'm not a reader. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Before the challenge, I was not even reading any book at all. I finished school, my business is opening a book, you understand what I'm saying? But reading, bro, reading is such an undirected thing, especially like in my, era or in my generation right now no one really okay majority the overwhelming majority of people that i know or come across or my or my angel generation do not read 
books if it doesn't have to do with their job or their career or school you know what i'm saying so reading was never a part of my life but it opened but reading opened my mind to a whole different possibility because you are gaining knowledge from people that have done things way ahead of you and also because it's a non-fiction book you're getting people that have done things that are like people are probably probably dead i read i read i read um rules of power i read a couple let me get my books actually hold on one second so these are the books i've read the first one i read was rules of life it basically just lists like rules that you can abide to like be generous um look after yourself think for yourself it just like list different rules it just kind of guides you on rules to follow in life it's a very impactful book but it's definitely a book i want to like read again because it's just like a list of personal conduct or personal code for living a better life and a more successful life i really recommend this book as well um so that's one next one i read was you owe you by eric thompson this is a very impactful and powerful book because it kind of reminds you of why you do certain things and just listen to eric thomas's story in the book how he overcame a lot of things in his life and his childhood and his upbringing and when he finally blew up on the internet and everything was just so amazing to read and i really would definitely recommend this book if you're trying to know why you want to do something in life you know because at the end of the day you owe you that's a book is basically saying about you owe yourself to be successful in life you owe yourself to get that job you owe yourself nothing's no one's going to come and change your life for you you got to change yourself that's essentially what this book's talking about atomic habits that is a book that i would read five times and more because the first time i read the book well okay i'm done with the challenge here but i want to read that book over and over again to really grasp and understand some habits because that book is something is something that you want to come back to and read over and over again because it helps you reading that book while i was doing challenge helped me better with the challenge Atomic Habits is a very beautiful book. Read, read, read it. And the last one I'm reading right now is Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Very popular book. I do not really understand, be honest with you, most content in the book because of the words. So I'm definitely going to read this book again. Um, I'm not done with the book, actually. I'm kind of almost done with it, but I'm not done with the book. So this is the last book I've read. After this, I'm going to reread Atomic Habits for sure and this one yeah the book is so knowledgeable and there are a lot of things that i want to take my time and really study in the now lastly what this challenge did for me this one in particular shows me that you are in control of your life and you can do whatever you want if it's really put your mind to it it is not impossible it's just uncomfortable to do and this i really put that discipline and structure in my life and now it's like okay what's next what's next for me is right now i just want to continue living this healthy lifestyle the challenge is over but it's not just a challenge it's kind of a lifestyle i still want to be going on walks every night you know just to clear my head listen to podcasts i still want to be i'm definitely going to be going to the gym but maybe now i'll be going like six days a week instead of like every day for <laughs> seven five days maybe have one rest day my body is tired like really fatigued working out every day busting caffeine like just to work out personal training you're having a lot of shoots was all it's a lot this is something you have to do especially as a man and you feel like you have no direction showing your life i really feel like stuff like this really is going to enlighten you really open your mind to a whole different imagination a whole different things that you can accomplish so yeah i would definitely recommend you do the 25 day hard challenge don't cut corners just do it and see you guys in my next challenge my next endeavor nelson egh signing out